too. God, that guy is such a jerk. If there's only some way, somehow to use physics to get him good. Hmm, I need a plan. There must be some way that I can use physics. Some way. God! I know, I'll call the professor. He'll know what to do. Professor, we have a problem. There's this real jerk at school. And me and Chris, well, we really need to get him. We just don't know how. I think I know just a thing for you. It's my new trebuchet experiment. Sounds great! Yeah, I'll meet you at uh, 5 o'clock to give you the instructional video. Where do you want to meet? Meet at the patio. Sounds great. See you then. Alright. to my trebuchet experiment instructional video presentation. In this presentation, you will learn how to set up this experiment and analyze your data using physics. You'll also learn how to get revenge on that annoying jerk from school. But remember, it's important that you remain professional throughout the experiment, unlike that guy. Now, let's get started. This experiment consists of five phases. Phase one involves gathering your materials. You will need a trebuchet, like that one. A trebuchet uses counterbalancing forces to launch a projectile. The counterbalance is located on the arm of the trebuchet. Here is a visual of three sides of the trebuchet you will be using. You will also need weights for the counterbalance. You will be launching three different projectiles. The tennis ball. The golf ball. The beanbag. And finally, the golf ball. Phases two through four involve performing the experiments. Try different combinations of weight and projectiles and record all your data. Also, remember to act professional. Phase 5 involves analyzing your data. Apply your data to the appropriate kinematic equation to find the velocity of each of the launch projectiles. In this experiment you have two goals. First, using kinematic equations, find the velocity of each of the launch projectiles and determine whether the weight of the counterbalance has any effect on the speed of the projectile. Goal number two is to destroy your target. To do this, you must find the best combination of weight and projectiles. This is your target. You must destroy your target. When you have done all this, report back to home base. Oh, I can't wait. I gotta go get Chris. Oh, and one more thing. Be sure to wear the appropriate safety gear throughout your experiment. What do we need 
to build a trebuchet. I don't know, I gotta go to the bathroom. What do we need hmm. to build this trebuchet? Hey Chris, look what I found in the bushes. It's a trebuchet. Yeah! Build this thing. I go to the bathroom again. What? Meanwhile, Chris begins work on the arm. Good work, Chris. Look what I found. Good work. Now you have all the materials you need to begin your experiments. Gotta assemble this thing. Begin by picking up the arm and bringing it over to the bracket of the trebuchet. Then, install the arm using the wooden dowel you found in the bushes. Make sure the arm is nice and secure. Then, attach the launching string to the hook located at the end of the arm. Brilliant. Yeah! <laughs> After you've completed the assembly, take time to admire your triple shape. Now, you're ready to test it. We gotta be professional, not like that guy. Well, it appears it only went two meters. But don't worry, you have plenty of time to fix your errors before the real experiments begin. Now get moving.